This is the uh, the chicken run. Uh, is this thing still alive? I think I'm losing service in and out. This is the chicken run from Paul Hut. This thing is huge. Um, me and Aiden were barely able to lift it up and get it over here. Um, but we are going to be putting this thing together this week. Um, I was going to put it together yesterday. Whoa, about knocked myself out. Um, I was going to put it up yesterday after church. Um, but boy, it was just a cold, cold day yesterday. Kind of gloomy and um, boy, it was just cold. Hey, Robert, how's it going, bud? Um, but yeah, so this is going to be huge. I don't know if you guys got a chance to see it yet, where you're at in the video. But I'll come back in here and show you. We got the chicken run in. Hey, what's up, bub? We got the chicken run in and this thing is huge. It's going to be big. Just this one box here is over 100 pounds. Um, but yeah, so... We got big things going on around here. Um, the chicken coop, just need a couple of pieces of uh, plywood and a uh, nesting box and that thing is done. Um, but yeah, we gotta come out here and build the chicken run this week. So be looking out for uh, that video of us building that chicken run later this week. Come here, come here Margo. Come here. We got Margo over here. Playing on the porch. Come on. She don't want to come over here. <laughs> yeah, I come home uh, on my lunch break every day and let her out. Um, totally worth it. I'm sure she needs to get outside and stretch a little bit every day, you know, so totally worth the drive. Uh, Robert, the company's called Paw Hut is the name of the company that we got this from. And this thing is huge. It's, uh, see if I can't set this down. There we go, putting the chicken coop to some good use. Um, yeah, it's called Paw Hut. This thing's huge. It is, if I'm not mistaken, six and a half feet tall by, I think, nine feet wide and 18 and a half feet long. So if I'm lucky, I'm probably going to have to put it together outside of the chicken coop. But I think when it's all said and done, I might be able to put the chicken coop inside of it. That'd be really cool. Um, and give those chickens uh, lots of room to run around. So I'm excited about that. And we're, we're still waiting on a, a mail to come in from um, Olight. They're going to be sending us a few lights. So we're going to give some lights away. I hope you guys are uh, sticking around for that as soon as that come in. I uh, can't wait to give away some uh, free good flashlights. That'd be good. <laughs> but yeah, this is huge, guys. I can't believe how far this chicken loop, chicken loop, how far this chicken loop's coming along. Um, as you guys, I'm sure you guys have been watching my brother, Dutch over at uh, Keeping It Dutch, and his uh, little off-grid tiny cabin thing is coming along quick. If you haven't been watching him, go over there to Keeping It Dutch and uh, see that little thing he's doing. Um, the little chicken, little tiny house he's got going on. But look at this thing. This thing's gonna be nice when it's all said and done. Plenty of room for a handful of chickens and uh, a chicken chicken coop run or whatever. The run it's gonna be bigger than this. So imagine that. The chicken run's twice as big as this. And if we put if we put the chicken run on the outside of the coop, they'd also have all the underneath spot too. So that'd be that'd be really cool. Uh, I'm sure they'll appreciate that. And if we can get everything put up and put together pretty good, man, I don't think it's crazy to think in the spring if we couldn't get this place cleaned up and a spot set up for some uh, a pig or two, maybe get a couple pigs out here. And uh, yeah, as soon as I get the time and a little bit of money. We will be building all kinds of awesome pens out here for animals. Um, I'm hoping to have some rabbits, some chickens, some pigs, and maybe a goat. I think a goat would be pretty cool. Uh, but right now, we got two rabbits, a couple of barn cats, a dog, and that's it, and a half a chicken coop. <laughs> so yeah, I can't wait to get a, get a pig and stuff. When are you going to start the pig run and garden space? I don't know yet. I do know one thing. We've had a lot of good dirt over here. We put over here from last year's bucket garden. And uh, I think the cats have been keeping it fertile. So that's really cool. Yeah, bub. Uh, man, I really could use some help, bub, if, uh, from over at Two Acres of Alden. Bub, when are you off work, man? You should shoot me a message. Come on down and give me a hand, man. I definitely could. I could use some help finishing this chicken coop. Maybe putting that uh, uh, run together. 
the weather's just been not too good and I work until dark so I can't really get much done on the work as far as you know nighttime goes so I can't wait till uh can't wait till we get this thing put up and the chickens in it and I ain't gotta mess with it anymore anyway what's up Walker Farm fam what's going on guys so me and Aiden this weekend we uh went and rode go-karts and, and four-wheelers or not four wheelers. We watch. We, we rode goat carts and uh, mini bikes and stuff. My buddy's got a couple goat carts, and Aiden's got his, and he's got his uh, little mini bike there. So they, we had a really good time um, running around this weekend in goat carts and stuff. That was really fun. Um, yeah, I can't wait until summertime, guys. I got the summertime blues. I'm telling you, I miss the nice fresh air, warm sun, getting stuff done. The later evenings. What's up, Walker Farm fam? um so yeah I, i'm just so so ready for the the summer to get back here guys this uh this come going to dark at 5 15 stuff for the birds i don't really care for it my beard's coming in look at this get me a full beard going here you like that <laughs> get a little out of hand there I'm going to grow this bad boy out. See what I look like with a big old beard. I'm pretty funny. So, yeah, I just wanted to catch up with you guys. Let you guys know we're doing good. Um, I absolutely hate I haven't been posting lately. But, like uh, I've been telling you guys, ain't been much content lately. Uh, but now that we got this chicken run, hopefully we finish this chicken coop. And, um, yeah, uh, we also need to build a new uh, rabbit hutch. The one we got now is working good. But it's starting to go apart a little bit, and, you know, that's expected. I think my brother built that a few years back. So it's it's been uh, been used for quite a while. Um, so it's about time we build us a, a new rabbit hutch, finish the chicken coop. And when that's all said and done, we'll start worrying about pigs and goats and all that other stuff. But right now, we got a small farm, and that's nice, just enough for me to handle. I'll tell you what, I got a bone to pick with Aiden. I told him this morning, I said, hey, son. Go outside and uh, make sure uh, all the animals have water and food, you know. He's like, all right. So he goes out there. He comes back in, and he goes, Dad, all the waters are frozen. I said, all right, son, dump, knock, dump them out. Knock them, up, knock, knock them out. Empty them or whatever. Fill them back up. <laughs> He's like, all right. So he went back outside. He took care of everything. I took him to his mom's. I went to work, whatever. I come home today, and uh, I came home from day and checked on the animals. None of the animals had water. They just had big old empty water water buckets. Aiden knocked all the water out of all of them, but he didn't refill them. So I'm going to have to have a talk to him about that, remind him that, you know, these animals, they need water, son. You can't just knock out their frozen water and call it a day. I, you better off leaving it and letting it thaw out for him, son. So we got to talk to Aiden about that, making sure he refills the animals' waters when he knocks them out. I couldn't believe he did that. Just... Took a big old water deal, dump it out and walk off. Come on, son. Come on now. And then I asked him to refill all the waters. I used milk jugs and stuff to, uh, to for water out here. And uh, they were all empty. I was like, really, son? Let me down, boy. So next time I ask him to do that, I'll be sure to double check his work. It's what you got to do with kids, you know. I don't know what he was thinking. Maybe he was thinking... Maybe, maybe the water jugs are frozen too. That's possible. I don't know. So maybe I got to quit giving them a hard time. But we'll get to the bottom of that because we can't have these animals out here with no water. That ain't good. So, yeah, I got a lot of you guys asking about all the cats. Cats are doing good. There's one of them. There's a couple more around here somewhere. There's another one. I don't know where they're all at, but the cats are doing great. Um, they're getting big. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. They're getting big. They're doing good. The rabbits are doing good. Ah, it's all right, Robert. You know how kids are. You'll have that. You gotta. That's a teachable moment there. You know, I ain't too mad at him, but we definitely gotta teach him. He's gotta make sure these animals have water. Where you at, cat? Oh, hey. Got Salem here. Say what's up. So yeah, the cats are doing good. Glad we got ourselves some barn cats. What's up, Tom? No. Oh. These are like some friendly cats. Let me tell you. Look at that. They don't ever bother me. I don't ever bother them. Bloop. And the dog likes to play with the cats. The dog uh, and the cats are all pretty good friends. And so uh, that's been pretty nice to see uh, Margo playing with, the, playing with the cats. 
Boy, she's a smart dog too, let me tell you. She already knows how to sit and lay down and we've been working on a leash, working with her on the leash so I can take her places. Um, that's right, best cat is one that leaves you alone. That's absolutely right. They only bother me when I walk out the door in the morning and they just want food. And so I go fill up their food and they're happy cats the rest of the day. That's a good cat if you ask me, yeah. So everything's going good here. Just wanted to catch up with you guys and uh, let you guys know I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. I haven't forgot about you. I hope you don't forget about me. Um, I better get off here though and grab me a bite to eat so I can get back to work. Um, but yeah, you guys have a wonderful day. Be on the lookout for the, the chicken run build and uh, we'll be finishing up the chicken coop soon. And we're giving away some free O-lights. Can't beat that, right? So and don't forget to go over to Walker Farm Fam and Two Acres Evolving and Keeping It Dutch, all these great channels. Um, and show them some love. Tell them uh, Good Grub Almighty sent you. Oh, uh, Vincent from Our Rustic Life. Uh, but yeah, don't forget to go check them out and stay tuned for our, our upcoming videos. I love you guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. We'll catch you on the next video.